the students participated in a five-day program stepping in the shoes of WTO negotiators with the objective of deepening their understanding of how the decision-making process is done in the WTO. What we're doing today is a model of the WTO. Uh, supposedly what we're meant to achieve is a successful negotiation between different members. Obviously we're not saying that it's anything similar to the real WTO because we only have 10 countries, we only have a few issues, um, but it's certainly, even, even though it's on, on a, a smaller scale, very, very good in understanding the complexity of these negotiations. In a way, these students will be the future trade negotiators or possibly people in business. The model WTO is a simulation of an Israel conference. The students negotiate in different committees in the San Gallen University and on the last day of the program they come to the WTO and vote on their final declaration. We had like five rounds of negotiations, but of course all of the delegations had to prepare their position. This year, the simulation was on regional and sustainable trade. Ten countries were represented, and the students were given the opportunity to discuss their strategies with real WTO negotiators, as well as WTO experts. Today, what we had was an opportunity to talk to the students who had been working on the simulations, and to give them a perspective from a point of view of a trade negotiations expert on what sort of things would we normally find in the declaration. My role today was basically being a resource person for the, the students who were trying to find out exactly if their declaration um, of the agreements that they were working on reflected the reality. For young people to understand that um, the role of trade can play in further economic development is, is vital. Trade is seen as something that is, has negative impact on national economies. Sometimes it has uh, the, the positive impacts are not played up as much as the negative side. I believe the most important lesson you can take from this is learning how to compromise. You have your needs, the other people have their needs and you have to see where you can draw a line in between that benefits both parties. One thing that changed for me was um, an understanding of the scope of the WTO. Whereas um, traditionally I thought of it as to do with tariffs and subsidies, and I got a much greater understanding of the role it has to play in development, um, especially with regards to technical assistance and um, special measures uh, with regards to developing and least developing countries and they came up as very big issues in our negotiation. I really like seeing how people interact and because of different cultural backgrounds, different nationalities, approaches are very different. So testing different negotiating techniques with different people is a very interesting social experiment. So I would like you um, to raise your flag again if you're in consensus with this agreement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine countries have been present in the committee. I came into my knowledge of World Trade Organization as a lawyer, and so we read about consensus, we read about the application, what we don't read is how hard it is to achieve consensus. Until you get into the real environment, you have absolutely no idea what negotiators go through. I'm now understanding why it takes years, the Doha round takes 10 years, and still haven't come to a conclusion because it's extremely difficult to consider everyone's individual concerns. Students tend to have their different classes and then they isolate this class. We think about economics, we think about the environment, but we, we are not good in linking this all together. The role of uh, WTO is really important because it's the only institution that tries to harmonize the different points of view of the different countries. The world is always changing. Uh, the model WTO that we had today is certainly not the same one that was held last year or even five years ago. 
The issues today uh, reflect a, a changing paradigm in trade and also um, a changing developing world with um, more South-South cooperation, more South-South trade and um, different players and actors in the system.